Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy XMathizeB here and today I'm doing another tutorial today. Today I'll be showing you how to sync up your song. So this is a song I edited in FL Studio, so it's um, 18 by Joji and basically a lot of people from 80s rising. You could go check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. So let's start off by going to the drop. Um, you can preview your song by press pressing the dot on your numpad. So let's go a bit further. So the drop is right here. What we're going to do now is go to the song and press right click. Go to keyframe assistant and press convert audio to keyframes. Also sorry guys that uh, there was a small glitch in the last video. Uh, I couldn't really fix it, it was just a rendering error and even if I re-rendered it, it would have had the same error. So anyway, delete the right and the left channel, go to both channels and select the slider, go to right here and as you can see, if you see a point that's pretty high, that's where there's a kick is. So you see right here, this is the sink. So you press the um, this key, I'll uh, leave a picture on screen right now, you have to press it and then you set a marker. And then right here is a clap. Then right here there's another kick, maybe a bit in front. And then right here there is another kick. And then right here another one, I think. And then right here there is a uh, loud hi-hat. Wait, where is it? Right here. You hear it? The that's also a point that you could sync, you don't have to, but it might look nice. Then right here there is another point that you can sync. Then this is going to be my last kick, because, I don't know, if you want you could sync all of these. So this is basically where all the kicks and the sync is. So this is basically how you sync up a song. And it's not that hard. I see some people that have issues with it. If you want you can also just deselect everything. And uh, press the key again. And it will set a marker in your composition. Instead of on a... Um, and then it will also snap to it if you press shift, it will snap to it. But yeah, if you put it there like here, if you pre-compose something or pre-compose your whole composition, it will still have the um, markers. What is really good if you want to have your ending in a different composition. So yeah, let me quickly do this. So this is basically the tutorial for this week, it was a pretty short one, but I think it was needed as a lot of people don't know how to do this stuff. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, have a nice day, goodbye.